Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape, a free open source vector graphics editor. To learn where you can download a copy and how to use it, click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you find this video helpful, then help us by giving a like and subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release new videos. So in this video we're going to create an abstract line portrait uh, using the interpolate function that you can find in the extensions menu. So to get started, I shall get myself a clean page. I'm going to go up to File, down to Document Properties, and I'm just going to get rid of the page border, just so we've got a blank background to work on. I'm then going to import an image. Uh, this image is from Pixabay, and there's a link in the description below. Uh, So I can leave all, all of the settings the same. And we have an image to work with. So the interpolate function works by taking two paths and then converting one to the other in a series of steps. So to get started, we're gonna create our path by uh, using our Bezier tool to trace our face. So I'm gonna start up here I'll speed this up so you're not waiting for hours. I'm going to open up the fill and stroke dialog box and I'm just going to make the stroke a little bit bigger so we can see it better. Now I'm just going to go around using my nodes tool and just adjust our path. So I think that will do us for our first path. Our second path, I'm going to bring down and then I'm going to go around the ear and then round the jawline back up to the mouth. So I'm going to select the two paths. I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see what's happening. I'm going to go up to extensions, down to generate from path, and then down to interpolate to bring up our dialog box. I'm going to want phi that isn't really going to do it, so I'm going to change the interpolation steps to, we'll try 20, see what that looks like. Um, we don't need to duplicate end paths. Um, let's give that a whirl, see what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good. We'll stick with that, I think. The rest of the image I'm going to split into three sections. I'm going to do the hair first, then I'll do the neck, and finally I'll do the eye. I want to speed this up, save us some time.
With all the sections complete, draw a path to neatly trim the bottom of your portrait. Uh, ungroup and combine all the lines into one path, and use cut path to slice off the bottoms. Delete the ends, make last minute adjustments and you're done. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.